friends how's everyone doing today good morning welcome to another session for your civics of the indian constitution this is your master teacher surabhi gupta signing in from vedantu hello everyone let's see who all are here today all right hi heather hi mosami mosmi mosami hi abhishek hi snehal hi vaishnavi hi raman Planet of Fun School is going to open soon. All right. Hi Raman. Hi Urvi. Hi Lata. Yes, Sajal. There is going to be mentee today. There is going to be mentee all the time, every single session that we have together. All right. Hi Cartoon Plus. Hi Sivaram. All right. So guys, welcome to today's session. How is everyone doing today? कैसी चल रही है लॉकडाउन जिंदगी वट इज दैट न्यू थिंग दैट यूर डूइंग एवरी डे बिकॉज यू नो फॉर मी आई हैड कोविड बट इट स्टिल गेट्स वेरी फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग सिटिंग एट होम सो वट आर यू गाइज डूइंग एट होम हाई हर्षित हाई सुप्रिया डांसिंग ड्रॉइंग टू क्योर नेम लिली हाई मोहम्मद मोहम्मद साइद आई थिंक हाई राजा भाऊ हाई चारवी So guys, uh, a lot of you actually did join my batch, which started yesterday. But that just started. We are soon going to start with the first chapter of that batch. Do be in that batch, and how to be, and everything I will be telling you today. So if you want to join me in that batch, please make sure that you are joining soon. Yes. Now, first of all, whoever is new to the channel, give me a heart right now in the chat box. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. so that you do not miss on any video guys we take videos i'm going to tell you my schedule but kabhi kabhi you know you forget so do subscribe to the channel for sure to know when we come up with new videos right we are going to do the entire class 8 syllabus on youtube of course we will so if you want to be there for all the video subscribe to the channel like the video abhi like the video to show me your attendance let me see 230 people are watching right now but only 70 likes what is happening guys Come on, show me your attendance by liking the video right now. Hi Anya, yes, class has started. Drawing, reading. Thank you, Anshul, for saying that. Hi Dipanshu. Hi Anushma. Learning guitar. Wow, very nice. Take my name. Rejoice Gaming. I took your name. Sneha, new to the class, guys. If you're new to new 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 to the class, if you're new to the class, subscribe to the channel right now. Okay, the reason, guys, I repeatedly say that. One because I love saying that, you know, I, I feel like a YouTuber. But another reason why I say that is so that you do not miss any class. So sub subscribe to the channel. Wow. So guys, have you had your breakfast? खाना वाना खा के आए हो? Full of energy for today's class and menti. And to know who the homework superstars are. Yes, yes. Where are you now, Raman? Right now I am at home. Hi Anshul. Hi Satya. All right. Hi Dev. Thank you, Vidhi, for saying that. You guys are also my favorite. I'm sure you say that to all the teachers, whatever. Okay. So, guys, as I said, new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and I'm waiting for likes. Only if I see more likes will I go ahead. Come on, give me press on the like button and show me how excited you are for today's session. So guys, today what we are going to do? What we started with this chapter, our constitution in the last session, that is yesterday. So if you missed out on that video, please watch it once. It was a very important session where we understood about what is a constitution, right? It is a written document, easy, which has all the rules and laws that govern our society. सिंपल इजी डेफिनेशन है रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट है लिखा हुआ है एंड सारे रूल्स एंड लॉज है जो इम्पोर्टेंट है जो हमारी सोसाइटी को गवर्न करते हैं राइट वेरी सिंपल इजी डेफिनेशन टू लर्न देन वी लुक दैट वाई डू वी नीड अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द फीचर्स ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन देन वी आर गोइंग टू गो टू अ लाइव मेंटी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज बी देर टिल द एंड एंड फाइनली आई विल गिव यू अ होमवर्क टूडे इज होमवर्क इज सुपर सिंपल सुपर इंटरेस्टिंग so i will give you a homework and this time homework mein kuch alag karne wali hu so be there if you want to know what it is in the end till the end what am i saying today okay hi navya subscribed great did you like like the video right now all right 
Now let's look at who are our homework superstars for the day. Now guys, ये वाला homework it was very simple. I had asked you कि how many years did it take for our constituent assembly to make the constitution? From what year till what year did they make the constitution? And who was the chairman of the drafting committee? ठीक है, these were the two questions I'd asked. Almost all of you have answered it correctly. I don't know कितने लोगों ने cheating की, कितने लोगों ने you know actually gave me an answer from their memory, but it's okay, totally fine. I have read all the comments, but of course I have to choose the top five and you know people who have answered the fastest. So one is Janvi, very good बच्चा. One is Julia, very good. Next is Samarth who answered it correctly. Then you have Akanksha. Who answered this? Answered it correctly. Now, guys, someone had asked me who is the mother of the constitu constitution. Unfortunately, constitution has been birthed only by a man, our father. So, <laughs> so there is no mother of the constitution. All right. Next is Krishna who gave me a really huge answer. Uh, but good job. And then you have Prem. Prem is also saying I am his favorite teacher. Thank you for saying that. Actually, it's not Prem. It's Payal. So good job. And finally, we have. Kolipaka and Laksh Lakshman Swami. No, Lakshmana Swami. Please tell me if I pronounce it correctly. Yes. So these are our homework superstars, ma'am. Aaj ka homework. Girl, guys, today I will be giving homework in the end. Don't worry. Hi, Ayushi. Thank you. You lo you love my terrific Tuesdays, guys. This time, terrific Tuesday episode is going to be super fun. So be there for that. So can we start? Provide notes, Murali. I will try, but you can always join us at Vidantu, where you get everything. Your handwritten notes, also exam preparation notes, also. I also personally am soon going to make notes and put it on my Instagram channel, so you can follow me there. All right, all right. Hi, Ashi. Anju, love you too. <laughs> so guys, this is how our weekly schedule looks. Weekly schedule में Monday two o'clock, Wednesday two o'clock and today Thursday eleven o'clock we have our academic sessions जहाँ पर हम पढ़ाई करेंगे. We'll study. Tuesday is our terrific Tuesdays episodes where we are going to have total fun, total masti. You know sometimes it's going to be motivational. If you guys have a topic that you want me to do, you know maybe a quiz on, maybe an episode on, do put it in the comment section. You know I read all your comments, so put it in the comment section and I will try to do a video on that. Anything that interests you, you know that you wanted to know, right? So this is how our weekly schedule looks. All right. So can we start? Yes, ma'am. Start. Karo. Net waste. Ho reva. <laughs> All right. Hi, Arpita. Not okay. It's okay if I'm not your favorite. It's fine. My heart will survive. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chiluval. K. Yes, ma'am. Start. Deva Devyani, if you're new, subscribe to the channel and do watch the previous video where we started the chapter. ठीक है? Excited. Excited. Yes, Kanan, we are going to do the second chapter of history also. ठीक है, ठीक है, ठीक है. बहुत सारा, बहुत सारा we have talked, बहुत सारा we have introduced ourselves. It's eleven o'clock in the morning, guys. It's the best time to take class. All of us are fresh, so let's begin. So, guys, in the last class, we looked at the Indian Constitution. I told you we read what is the Indian Constitution and why does a country need a constitution. And we looked at four major points. What are those four points? You will have to watch the previous video to know that. Very important chapter, guys. Now, guys, civics me na. It's very high level English. You may think, "Ki ma'am, English is so difficult. I don't know what my book is saying." That is why do watch all the videos. That is why join us so you can understand what each word means. So easily you will remember it in the exam. That is my guarantee. ठीक है मेरा guarantee है. All right. So let's quickly start. Hi, Aima. Hi, Navya. You guys are like hi, hi, hi. Are you maring? Maring क्या होता है? All right, so let's quickly start. ठीक है. So guys, what are we going to do today? Today, as I told you, we'll start with the chapter. We are going to have a menti, and finally, I will give you the homework. Entire session, very very important. Be there for the entire session. All right. So the to what? Okay. So today we are going to look at what are the key features of the Indian Constitution. What are the main features of the Indian Constitution? We are going to look at one, two, three, four, five, five points. So let's begin. The first feature of the Indian Constitution is called federalism. बहुत बार सुना होगा, you must have heard of this term federalism. But what does this mean? 
federalism means existence of power structure at more than one level kya kya bola maine so guys it means that we have more than one level of government in our country we have a government at the national level we have a government at the state level and we have a government at the local level theek hai simple kyu kyu ki humne aisa only one person can rule the entire country right no that's not right it's because india is a huge country and we have people of different religions different languages different faiths different understanding hai na someone from south india someone from north east india west india north india all of them are different so it is unfair na that only one person sitting in new delhi in rashtrapati bhavan is ruling the entire country that's not right so our people who are making our constitution knew that they knew that for effect एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फॉर गुड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हमारे इतने बड़े देश को ठीक से एडमिनिस्ट्रेट करने के लिए वी नीड मोर देन वन लेवल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड फेडरलिज्म वेयर वी हैव थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट राइट लोकल लेवल गवर्नमेंट में कौन सा है पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन स्टेट लेवल एंड नेशनल लेवल ठीक है सिंपल नो पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन इज कॉल्ड द थर्ड टियर और टायर हाउएवर यू वांट टू प्रोनाउंस इट of government first year central second year is your state third tier of government is panchayati raj institution theek hai simple this is the federal structure now how is power divided so guys hamare constitution makers bahut smart the they were very smart they said that we should define the power of each level in the constitution itself jaise baad mein ladai na ho center bole ki i have more power state bole no no i have more power so that there is no fighting the constitution specifies you know what is the power of each level of the government where will they get money from how will they function all of this has been written down in our constitution so the center has some powers for example when we talk about foreign affairs how should india treat pakistan how should india treat china all of these questions will be answered by the central government theek hai state government ke paas alag type ke topics hote hain for example police law and order all of these are topics for the state government now kuch areas aise hote hain which are called concurrent topics theek hai that those are topics on which law can be made both by the center as well as the state for example education education ek aisa topic hai jis pe even the center can make a law state can also make a law but if the center and state both of them are making a law which law will be superior agar center ne law banaya ki everyone should wear a red shirt state ne law banaya everyone should wear a green shirt when they go to school education law hai right whose law will be more strong who we will have have to agree to which law homework question theek hai this is just a random out of syllabus question you tell me i will tell you in the next class what is the correct answer But anyways, constitution जो है वो clearly decide करता बताता है कि which you know central central government का what is the power, state government का what is the power and panchayati raj का what is the power. This is called the federal structure of our government of our politics. Simple. I hope you got it. All right. This next feature of the constitution. Let me just look at the. Uh, yes, Nandini, it is live. Thank you, Suhani. ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज द नेक्स्ट फीचर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट भैया व्हाट इज दिस नो गाइस इन इंडिया वी हैव अ पार्लियामेंट यू नो दैट बट व्हाट डस पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट मींस इट मींस दैट द पीपल दैट वी इलेक्ट एज आवर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स एज आवर लीडर्स दे गो एंड सिट इन द पार्लियामेंट ठीक है नाउ व्हाई डू वी यूज द टर्म रिप्रेजेंटेटिव यू नो आई थिंक I, I should clear this up because a lot of students ask me, ma'am, what? Why do we use this term representative? It is because, let's say in your classroom, three people are standing for elections. You know, three people are there who can become your class monitor. Who will you choose? You will choose that person. You know, who will, who reflects, who represents your interest. For example, there's a boy called Ram. Ram is someone who says that you know I will give you forty-five minutes for lunch. I will make sure teacher gives you one star every exam. You will say, "Ha ha, Ram is very good. He wo he is doing what I want. He is representing my interest, right?" 
so he is my representative okay do you understood that term so in our democracy the leaders that we choose our representatives that we choose that we elect they go and sit in the parliament they are accountable to us what does accountable means means they are answerable to us aaj if for example covid vaccine is not getting available in my city who will i go and ask question to i will ask my representative that listen i elected you because i thought you will represent my interest i thought you will take care of me but i am not getting covid vaccine so i will question them and they will have to answer to me so in a parliamentary form of government we elect our leaders our representatives elected by the people who are above the age of 18 who are adults they go and sit in the parliament and they are accountable to the people simple now who are these leaders these leaders can be any one any citizen they can uh, you know contest elections they can be of any caste any background they can be rich poor boy girl whatever all right i hope you understood what a parliamentary form of government is said what is judiciary will do in your later chapters in detail all right right now we just going to quickly go through it the third feature of the constitution is separation of power what does that mean separation of power very simple guys in our constitution we have three organs of the government the legislature executive and judiciary theek hai constitution says that all three organs have different powers and they have to check each other so let me first explain what each uh, point means what is a legislature legislature matlab parliament theek hai the leaders that we elect they go and sit in the legislature they go and sit in the parliament what do they do they sit and drink tea no yes they drink tea but what else do they do what is their main role they make laws theek hai for example they will make a law that right now covid situation everyone has to wear an n95 mask when they go out in public they made a law but yaar sirf only making a law is not enough right today i can make a law that people who come to my class everyone should be dressed properly but what if someone has not dressed properly what can i do someone has to enforce the law someone has to make sure that the law is implemented theek hai that body is called executive executive is a body that executes the law legislature parliament made the law everyone has to wear wear a mask who will ensure that we are wearing a mask the police the traffic police guys the ministers the government officials they are the executive the government is the executive they will make sure that we are following the law theek hai simple now what is the judiciary judiciary is judgment today if the parliament makes a law that you know if you don't wear a mask we will shoot you this is a bad law this is not a right law this is an extreme law so the judiciary will make a judgment saying that no legislature you are wrong you cannot make such a harsh law right so this way all three organs take care of each other today if the parliament makes a law which is wrong judiciary can stop it if the executive if the government is doing something wrong if the government is not providing vaccines to everyone people sitting in the parliament can question the executive they can question the government hota hai na in the parliament you must have seen the opposition parties always asking why have you not done this why have you not done that so the legislature executive and judiciary keep a check on each other there is a system of check and balance so that no one misuses their power theek hai very simple i hope you got it theek hai legislature very simple legislature make who makes the laws executive who executes the law implements the law and judiciary who judges everything if everything is good all right okay uh so i think i have explained this each organ acts as a check on the other organ increase your volume guys increase your laptop volume because i'm i'm literally screaming right now okay all right let's go to the next part now guys this is very very important so listen carefully put your concentration caps on and listen very carefully what is the difference between the state and the government this is state with a capital s 
we a lot of times say that the indian state is a soft state indian state is a powerful state hai na you must have heard of this indian state matlab india is not a state india is a country so why should why do we say the indian state what is the state and is it different from the government yes there is a huge difference between a state and a government let's understand what that is state jo hai state is a political institution that represents a sovereign people who occupy a definite territory very difficult line let us understand it take a deep breath and let's understand it india jo hai is a state why is india a state because one it has a defined territory hai na i where is my pen it has a defined territory so we say ki this is our boundary let pakistan say whatever they want let china say whatever we, we they want we are saying that this is our country it has a definite boundary first part point second the people who live in the country are sovereign people what does that mean it means that we make our decisions independently if we want to fight with pakistan we will fight if we want to increase the prices of our vegetables we will increase if we want to increase the price of petrol we will do it we don't have to ask usa we don't have to ask china before doing what we want we are a country of sovereign people all right so if these two points are met india becomes a state state is this idea theek hai that indian state is a state why because we are a country of sovereign people we make our independent decisions and we have a definite territory we have a proper boundary that we believe in all right but what is a government a government is is not you know government is only someone who is taking care of the state theek hai so for example you have a house the house is your state house ek hi rahega this is your permanent house house is the state people who are living in the house they are the government they come they live they go away they come they live they go away right so the government can change every once in 5 years government's role is only to implement the laws theek hai the government can change every time people remove them from the election all right i hope you got it state is fixed india is fixed it doesn't matter today we have congress tomorrow we have bjp third day we have some random joker who's ruling us but india is a state government can be anyone theek hai got it got it got it sai sovereign bhavna means sovereign matlab someone who is independent we are independent people who make our own decisions we do not need someone else's help theek hai all right so guys very simple way to understand the state is fixed it's like a house it is fixed people who live in the house who come live go away come live go away that is the government theek hai yes sovereign yes mukan means that we are not in control of any other foreign power we are independent as a country we make our decisions independently theek hai all right understood okay now the next feature of the constitution is fundamental rights very very important feature one of the most important features of the constitution that protects citizens from misuse of power we have done this in the last session also right now what is fundamental rights fundamental rights is the conscience of the indian constitution what does conscience mean now guys sometimes you know in school you will think ki i don't want to attend this class let me go bunk or you know let me go and steal this 500 rupees from this person i'm very hungry right but there's a voice inside you that will say no don't do it this is wrong that voice kind of sounds like your mother right who's always saying no no don't do this this is wrong no don't go out to play be at, be at home and study because tomorrow is the exam that inner voice is your conscience similarly in our politics the inner voice that will always put you in the right path is the fundamental rights fundamental rights is the conscience of the indian constitution today if someone misuses their power if a minister is misusing their power and not treating us properly or if anyone else your neighbor is not treating you properly you know that fundamental rights will protect you right if someone is not giving you a job just because you belong to a particular caste or you are a woman or you are a man or whatever the reason is you know that fundamental rights that is given to you by the constitution 
प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ एब्यूज ऑफ पावर ठीक है समझ गए All right. What kind of fundamental rights do we have? You can use these fundamental rights also against your parents while while you're making your argument. कोई फायदा नहीं होने वाला. I know, but still, you can use it. The first fundamental right is the right to equality. What is right to equality? Right to equality means that everyone is equal before the law. You know, it doesn't matter if you are the president or you are a person who's living on the footpath. Everyone has to agree. Everyone has to follow the same rule book. All right. So all of us are equal before the law. All of us have protection by the law. Okay. That is the first thing. Second, it does not matter what caste you belong to, what religion, how rich or poor, what job you do. Everyone is equal, and you cannot be discriminated against. मतलब इट्स नॉट लाइक यू कैन बी से यू नो समन कैन से ओ यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू सिट ऑन दिस बेंच बिकॉज यू नो यू यू आर अ स्वीपर नो वन कैन से दैट यू कैन नॉट बी डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड अगेंस्ट थर्ड एवरी वन हैज एक्सेस टू पब्लिक प्लेसेस देर आर सम पब्लिक प्लेसेस ये लाइक योर टेम्पल योर प्ले ग्राउंड योर फॉन्स ऑल ऑफ दीज आर पब्लिक प्लेसेस एंड नो वन कैन स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम यूजिंग दैम द फोर्थ पॉइंट इज that if you are looking for employment if you are looking for a job the state the state matlab indian state that is being used see this is a state being used right so the indian state or any one the government cannot discriminate against you they cannot say oh you know you don't look very good i don't want to employ you they cannot say that right so this is the right to equality second fundamental right that we have is right to freedom increase your voice guys i'm not sure uh just check if if it's okay now right next is right to freedom is it is it better i i, I don't i think i just increased it okay 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 sorry i'm so sorry all right next is right to freedom now what does that mean that means we have the freedom of speech and expression today if i want to say anything against the government i should be allowed to say that that is what freedom of speech and expression means if i want to meet my friends of course right now it's a lockdown but normally normal circumstances i have the right to form association if i want to form a women's group of all women coming together i can do that i can move freely around the country if i want to live in pondicherry today no one can stop me right i can live anywhere in the country and i have i have a right to practice any profession any occupation or business you cannot stop me anyone cannot stop me so that is your right to freedom all right next is what is the meaning of arbitrary krishna arbitrary matlab man marziya matlab uh, if today i say ki okay people who have a mustache they their heads will be cut off it is arbitrary it has no logic it is anything that i want my wish right so that is arbitrary all right okay next is right against exploitation now the constitution clearly says that human trafficking what is human trafficking when human beings are sold right that is human trafficking forced labor when people are asked to work and they are not given any money for that work in a lot of areas forced labor takes place people are forced to work right forced labor and employment of children under 14 years of age is not allowed theek okay? hai so the constitution gives us the right against exploitation as a fundamental right so if your parents can tell you to work you tell them no I have a right against exploitation. I'm below the age of eight, fourteen. You cannot ask me. But don't say Surbhi Ma'am said that. Me too. All right. Next fundamental right is right to freedom of religion. Very simple. All of us can practice any religion that we want. If you want to make up a religion and practice it, you can do that also. And if you want, you can propagate the religion. That means that if you want to spread the message of your religion of your God, you are allowed to do that in India. right it's a huge freedom that we have all right and the final fundamental right is cultural and educational rights now guys this is a very confusing right so please listen carefully this is given to minorities 
you know i told you in the last class that in a democracy it is a game of numbers people who are in the majority only their voices are heard but what about the minority do they not have a voice do they have no rights no the constitution makers gave us gave the minorities cultural and educational rights minorities can set up their own educational institutions so for example christians in india they are a minority they set up their own convent schools so they can set up their own convent schools or any minority can set the tribals can set up their own shops their own schools they can set up their own cultural and educational institutions to preserve their culture to develop their culture because they are in a minority right so this is the final fundamental right all right बच्चा मेंटी कोड अभी मेंटी शुरू नहीं हुआ वाई विल आई गिव यू कोड सॉरी दिस वन मोर फंडामेंटल राइट आई टोटली फॉर गॉड and this is actually the most important fundamental right and that is right to constitutional remedies now guys listen very careful you have been given a right today i will give you a right that okay anyone any one of my students can uncam themselves theek hai they uncam matlab they can come on the video now i have given you the right but you will have to use the right no how can you use the right i will give you no instruction i will just say okay you can uncam yourself what happens if someone says no you cannot uncam yourself what will you do so there has to be a right that protects all other rights this is what this fundamental right does right to constitutional remedy if today the state violates your right if this if anyone if anyone does not treat you equally if someone does not give you a job because you know you are not karina kapoor what can you do you can go to the court you can say that my fundamental right of right to equality right against exploitation was violated so protect my fundamental rights going directly to the court that is the right to constitutional remedy remedy matlab if there is an injury who will treat it that is your remedy theek hai constitutional remedy all right the final point fundamental rights has two objectives theek hai the first point is guys having rights is not enough b r ambedkar ji said that okay we've given people rights but that is not enough we have to make people capable of using those rights today you have to be aware of what your rights are you should know that if your right is violated you can go to the police right this is all something we'll do in your class 8 civics what will you do if your right is violated who will you go to where will you go for an fir all of that we will do so every citizen should be in a position to claim their fundamental rights right the second point is that fundamental rights is the most superior thing in the country no government no authority no police no army can violate your fundamental right the government has to follow all fundamental rights the fundamental rights are binding on the government matlab fundamental rights are the masters of the government government is not the master of fundamental rights theek hai this is very important as citizens to know that so that in the future or whenever you think the government is violating your fundamental right you can raise your voice right now apart from fundamental rights the constitution also gives us something called dpsp directive principles of state policy what does this mean directive principles matlab these are principles these are not rules or laws these are just you know it is directing the state that because there is so much poverty in the country because so many people are hungry because so many people are unemployed you should follow these principles okay that is dpsp they are not binding on the government the government the fundamental rights is binding on the government the government has to follow the fundamental rights but directive principles of state policy is only an advice that the constitution makers have given to the government that you know make sure that everyone has clean water make sure that everyone has housing these are directive principles of state policy simple guys i cannot make it more clear so this is how i can explain all right next and the final feature of the indian constitution is secularism now guys there's an entire chapter on secularism that we will do in the next next class ye matlab in the next chapter right now just understand that india is a secular state 
What does that mean? It means that India as a country is not a Hindu country. It is not a Muslim country. It is not a Christian country. It is a secular country. We do not as a country promote any one religion. When you go into a government office, you will not see a big photo of Lord Ram or a big photo of uh, uh, Jesus Christ there. Right? We do not promote as a country any religion. All of the citizens can follow whatever religion they want. That is what secularism means. We do not have an official religion. All right. We will go into the detail in the next chapter. All right. Now, I hope, yes, Chilsats, I remember you. Yes, we are one, Vipin. Okay, menti code de denge. Vidhi, I will give the menti code soon. Don't worry. So, guys, before I, does the constitution ever change? Would be a good question. Constitution does not change. We have had one constitution for so many years. But as you can see, it's a beautiful constitution. Even today, it is relevant to us, right? But yes, we can change certain parts of the constitution. We can amend or change certain laws, which we do. But we cannot change fundamental rights. They are fixed. All right. So, guys, before I give you the menti, homework question, I will give you at the end. But before I give you that, let me give you a very quick announcement and that is my batches are starting soon. Guys, one of my batch started yesterday, but we have only done the introduction. So if you want to join that batch, 8G. Okay, a lot of you I can see also in my batches. If you want to join that batch, please enroll today so that you can come in the very first session that starts next week. Other batches for 6th standard, 7th standard and 8th standard starts from 21st June. So guys, I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun at Vedantu. We have a lot of quizzes, you know, we have unlimited live classes, lots of different kinds of quizzes. Match the following, map-based questions. We have fact your fingers first. You cannot cheat in the Vedantu because there is no URL to cheat on, right? So we have all of that. Apart from you, apart from that, you can compete with students throughout the world. So, you know, this is an example of the platform that I talk to different students. Some students are from Saudi Arabia, some from US. So, we have different kinds of students also there. Apart from that, kabhi kabhi class miss ho jati hai, someone's birthday, you kept sleeping, you did not want to attend, you did not want to see my face, whatever the reason is, you can watch the replay also. But when you watch the replay, it's not boring. It's very interesting because you can do the quizzes along with the students who were there in the live class. So your name can also come on the leaderboard even while you're watching the replay. Hena bohati sai feature, right? And that's the best feature. Next is any notes that we do, any, you know, all the notes that we give, we give exam preparation notes, your class notes, your handwritten notes, all of this is also available to you. Okay, finally, all your doubts is solved by the class teacher as well as me, the master teacher, during class itself. You have your assignments and exams that, you know, you have, all right? Okay, apart from that, we also have micro courses. Ye kya hai? What is this micro course? Now guys, sometimes, for example, constitution, you understood, but during exam, you've forgotten everything. What will you do? You will join this micro course, which is totally free of cost if you've taken our subscription program. You can join the micro course. I also take micro courses. You can join that and revise the entire chapter. We also have micro courses for your, for your Olympiad, for your NTSC, for your Turbo Match, etc, etc. All right. Yes, Vedantu can also be done in laptop, it can be done in a mobile phone, it can, it can be done on any device that has an internet. Vedanti, I took your name. Alright, now guys, how to join my batch? Very important, I want you guys to, I want to see you guys in my batch. There is a link in the description, you click on it and you use the code S code me code code s u g pro now when you click on the link this is the page that you come to let me just vanish for a second so this is the page that you come to as i told you there is a pro light subscription pro light subscription may you have all the features that i just told you classic you take classic if you're one of those students who, who wants their doubts solved even after class and premium is for students who think they need personal attention. So you have a personal teacher who will help you out if you need that extra help in your academics. I will say go for ProLight. This is the entire year piece. But if it's too much, guys, we have EMI options also. But if you still think, nay, nay, I don't know how Vedantu will be, try it for one month. Come to my batch for one month. Give that, you know, it's just around 2000 rupees, which is nothing. Each class comes down to 10 rupees. 
10 rupees mein you buy a lace guys you can invest in your future for 10 rupees right so you come to my class look at how it is for one month and then you can just buy the entire course if you like it so i'm not pressurizing you you join for one month see how it is all right pro lightness so guys this is the timetable like you get your science english math social studies you also have general knowledge you also have personality development career counseling and all of that all right okay so all you have to do is use the coupon code SUG PRO. Very important guys, yeah, but the coupon code has already been applied. But if it is not applied, you just use the coupon code SUG PRO. Alright, simple, so it will be Gupta PRO. Okay, let me go back. Okay. Now guys, very simple, why should you join? Just one more reason. You should join because I am promising you, Vedantu is promising you that if you join us, you are going to see an improvement in your academics. We are guaranteeing it. Hum bol rahe ki if you do at the end of the year, if you feel ki nahi, I didn't improve. I used to get 60% marks, I still get 60% marks. We will return all the money back to you. Because we believe that if you are giving your money to us, if you are putting effort, if you are attending our classes, if you are you know, doing all the tests and assignments, then we are accountable. You know, just like the parliament is accountable to the country, to the citizens of the country, we master teachers are accountable to you. We will make sure that you improve, you get the best marks in your exam. If you want, if you are preparing for competitive exams, you do well. Right? Again, if you do not do well, all the money will be returned back to you guys. I don't know how, like it's a huge promise because your money is our bread and butter. Hame bhi khana khana hai. But we are saying that we promise that we will give that money back to you if you do not improve. It says that I cannot make more promises. So guys, go to the link in the description box. And as I told you, at least join for one month. One month try our Vedantu platform. I'm telling you, you will fall in love. Right, you use the coupon code SUG PRO. Very important coupon code, write it down SUG PRO to get at the Makeda discount. Okay, Menti, yes, yes, exactly. Mukan, we have leaderboard, we have hotspots, we have quizzes, we have maps the following. I am soon going to come up with a micro course that has all map based questions for you. So, we have all of that. Hi, Shubhi. Hi, Mridula. All right, Menti. Okay, Menti, your favorite has come. So, guys, Menti code is 43803535. What is Menti? Please do not use the same device. If you have another device with you, go to that device, a laptop or a mobile or your papa's mobile, mama's mobile. Take that. Go to www.menti.com. You will get enter your code use this code 43803535 and we will begin the quiz all right let me be chutanki first and let me go to the menti quiz okay present ha i did not show you the url who's a smart technology person i am i am all right hi samhita Hi, Naresh. Indra, you have joined. Great. I'm going to wait for one minute, guys. Rani, Shikha, Constitution needs a change because no law for cyber crime. Okay, so guys, Constitution does not have all the laws that we make. Okay? Not, not all the laws that exist is in the Constitution. We can make a cyber law without touching the Constitution. Right, how many quizzes in the quiz? Kanika, I'll tell you once we start the quiz. You join no? Come on, guys. 370 students in the class, but I do not see that many likes. Give me a like right now. Show me how excited you are for the menti quiz. Only then I will begin. Quickly, quickly do that. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Subscribe right now so that you do not miss any of the mentees, any of the revision classes, any of the important question classes. So do that. Palat new students, subscribe to the channel, like the video and join the menti right now. Acha, Manish, you want me to refresh? I can refresh without showing you the URL. I know how to do that now. See? Ha ha. Alright. Sorry, I'm just so excited. Okay. Let's go. Krishna, why are some countries rewriting their constitution? And why is India not? We will do some. We will do this in our history last chapter. Don't worry. Hey, Mlata, I will start, Menti, guys. All of you are here. I can see a lot of you here. So let's 
quickly begin again for people who are coming in the code is 43803535 and we are going to begin with your quiz question 1 of the day is what kind of role citizens of india play in electing representatives indirect role no role direct role or submissive role when we elect our leaders what kind of role do we play are we indirectly electing them are we not electing them at all are we directly electing them or are we submissively electing them come on thank you kamlesh join and like thank you nimlesh ma'am you unknown unknown bachcha menti.com take a mobile phone of your papa go to menti.com and put this code that is there on top theek hai join we have only done one question this was a difficult question yes so let me explain guys when we elect our leaders what do we do we direct we matlab you guys don't obviously do nothing but people who are above the age of 18 they directly go elect put their vote and the person who wins the majority vote that person is our representative that person is our leader so we play a direct role we are directly electing him we are not saying we are not saying ki ha i will elect this person this person will elect this person that person will finally be the leader we are not playing an indirect role we are directly going and electing our leader simple it's not simple it was a little difficult but i hope you understood it all right leader board in front of you let's see which one taylor swift is also there in our class today thank you taylor swift cookie corn is the fastest then we have neha anushka shreya taylor nirvana rija and rayan both of them are here rupa shubhi and mannat on top all right let's go to question number 2 of question number 6 and that is good dhyan everyone is equal before the law this right falls under right to education right to vote right to equality or right to study everyone is equal before the law a beggar a president a prime minister uh, me you all of us are equal before the law what kind of right does it fall under Yes, Krishna. That's true. Our constitution is the largest. All right. Hi, Heather. Time is up. Right to equality. Are you guys? It's not a simple question. Equal is there in the question only, right? Everyone is equal before the law. That is the right to equality. Let's look at the leaderboard. So this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Who is the fastest? Hi Jashwan, you are in my batch. I know you were there yesterday. So we have Nirvana, Shreya, Arpita, who is the fastest. Good job. Shubhi, Vidya, Shankar, Taylor, Rupa, Jashwan, and Drisha on top of the leaderboard. Good job, guys. Even if you are not there, guys, it's okay. Just you know, concentrate on giving me the correct answer. Easy peasy, great. If a thirteen-year-old child is working in a factory, what is it called? freedom to education child labor both a and b none of these if you are asked to work in a factory today what will you say that i am being what come on unknown think about it are you sure that's the answer if you are working in a factory and you're just a 13 year old baby what will you what is it time is up the fastest fingers list is here and the answer is child labor guys it is not allowed right against exploitation if someone is below 14 years of age you cannot be asked to work okay you can just chill at home and study studying is your main job all right let's look at who is the fastest we have mansi man you're too good thank you mansi and anushka as the fastest but on top we have shreya taylor vidya vidya shankar arpita Jashwan, Drisha, and should be Rupa also. Sorry, on top of the leaderboard. All right, let's go to the next question. Question four of six is in front of your screens. Which of the following are fundamental rights? Right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation. All of these. Easiest question. 
come on hi mandit you give answer more fast jenica okay my name it's guys i see menti is not i didn't make menti if you if you answer very quickly and your internet is very good your name will come neither please concentrate concentrate on just getting the right answer all right time is up the fastest fingers sorry we have all of these as the correct answer yes all of them are fundamental right we have five six different fundamental right right why am i stuck the leaderboard is here and who do we have on top let us see fastest is vidya shankar i like frog okay i hope you like frog is an animal and you don't like to eat frog because that is weird and then you have carl who is the fastest but on top of the leaderboard is still shreya arpita anushka mansi rupa brisha pratyaksha and harshita you like frog okay next question question number 5 of 6 is secularism means that the state promotes what does secularism means state promotes one religion state promotes no religion state promotes both a and b or none of these easy question krishna because if when you are working in a factory below the age of 14 it is not right to education you are not you are being exploited it's not fair na that instead of studying you are being asked to work in a factory right so that is not right to education that is child labor it is not allowed by our constitution all right all right yes guys yeah i told you secularism no religion secularism no religion it means that the state will not promote any one religion theek hai the, the state is like uh, you know like papa he will love everyone he will love all his children so all religions the state will love it will not promote any one religion theek hai all right let's look at the leaderboard right now Your names are so funny. Okay, who is the fastest? We have Alek Royal. Born to clear IIT now only in eighth standard is the fastest. We have Shreya, Vidya Shankar, Harshita, Bhavna, Sunflower, Ridhima, Saloni, uh, Ambika, Suhani. Thank you for saying that on top of the leaderboard. And now we come to the final question of the day. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? No, no, I'm not ready. I'm Gupta. bad bad joke okay so let's go to the next and final question of the day state governments have authority to make rules on what subjects the state government not the national government not the local government the state government can make rules and laws on asian concern national concern both of these or none of these jo aapka state level government hota hai your chief minister for example what can they make decisions on think about it guys can they make decision on entire asia or can the state government make decision of the entire country time is up guys the answer is none of these state government can only make rules for the state tamil nadu government cannot make rules for the entire country tamil nadu government can make only make decisions for tamil nadu it cannot make decisions for the entire asia also hai na so the answer is none of these state government can make rules only for their own state thana tricky question guys civics is very tricky so you know you have to understand the concept all right so let's see this is a game changer question upar wale people have come down bhavana prajapat with 5853 points is on top for today give an applause to her very good bhavana everyone else also very good because this was not an easy topic all right so guys homework question before you go let's quickly do the homework question where is it yes if you're not if your name was not there in the leaderboard it's totally okay because your name can come on homework superstars for the next class and for the next class guys i will not select i will select the top 5 people and then i will select five random people from the comments my next class is on monday so till monday whoever watches the video whoever does the homework your name can come on my homework superstars theek hai so this is your homework match the following click 
and you know take a picture and remember to put your homework in the comment section not on the chat because uh, i will i can only read the comment section yes i will teach you geography sanjay don't worry so guys that's it for today i hope you like the chapter i hope you love the chapter if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel like the video right now guys give me a like before you go don't break my heart and do share the video if you think it will help out your friends because sharing is caring and i know all of you are very caring people right so guys that's it class 7 standard kanishka you can subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification when you will whatever okay okay so that's it have a great day guys have a great thursday i think so this is your master teacher surbhi signing out bye bye have a great day